Okay, so this particular vlog is just a hot mess. It's a hot mess. It's just, I tried to vlog at least something every day, and I was trying to read something every day. I fell off that wagon, but I'm still reading more consistently than I have been, which is a plus. Um, but anyway, it's just all mashed together. So if you enjoy that, you know, enjoy. Going to the truck stop bar for dinner. Here comes the McDonald's. <laughs> Cute doggies. There's the beach. And over there is the truck stop bar. Here we are. Oh. Where's the beach? There's another one. Wow. That's so cool. Okay, I gotta go catch the bus. But it's coming back. Oh, there's another one. That is so awesome. Can't miss the bus. Okay. Oh, that is so awesome. Actually, this is the same route I walked last night. Taking my pumpkin candy to school for Fancy Sock Friday tomorrow. Tis the season. Time to sweep the grass. Out for a little bike ride. And it's bridal photo season apparently. This is like the fifth one that we've seen. How cool. Oh, there's two. Uh -oh. It's a stuff store. <laughs> oh no, it's so cute. And there's an upstairs. That is so cute. <laughs> Good job. Hello to the bay. Very nice. Oh, it's a Chinese bumblebee. Big and Beast mode. Come closer, little bee. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Wow. That's a big bee.
Okay, here's our haul. These are for chemistry class. Little tiny mushrooms. Dragon fruit. I hope they're different colors, red and white. Let's we'll see. Tomatoes, cucumbers. Cute stickers for my students. And this is what I got at the cute store. Cute stickers. Those are my favorites for my students. Rulers for my chem class. Ponytail holders. And another pen. I'm collecting pens now. And we finally got new flowers. Greeting the dawn. Those are the ones that make that loud noise. Are you looking for your friends, kitty? Just a mile. Just a mile. about a grocery haul on the bonus day off. So at the import store, we got one, two, five cheeses, fresh bread, New Zealand butter, smoked oysters, whole grain mustard, rice cakes, cranberry apple, and is that apple juice too? I don't know, Cokes. And then we stopped for beer haul. And next to the beer hall, we had a snack attack hall. And then we had to stop at the little grocery for eggs. But we also got, I, I also got watermelon, kiwi. Well, the kiwi had a cute sticker, so that was important. Dragon fruit, cucumbers, Sprite, chips, and Skittles. Hello, breaking news. I have finished another book. Ha. Small Island by Andrea Levy. Oh my gosh, this book is so good. It is so, so good. Really, it's so good. Um, so I started it back in June for Caribbean, and you know, life was kind of crazy then. It still is, but um, I didn't finish. I was buddy reading it with Heidi and Patrice and Karen from Run Right Reads. Um, and they all finished it, some sooner than others, but all faster than me. Um, anyway, anyway, so the library took it back and it took a while for me to get it back and I got it back finally. Um, and I finished it yesterday just in one sitting, about 40% of the book uh, in one sitting. And even though I had started it in June, I remembered everything like her characterization is so so amazing i mean to tell you um gilbert and hortense i absolutely adored those characters i adore them like i love them so much <laughs> queenie's great too and her dude i forget his name but so good it's set um, 
it, it fluctuates between uh, Jamaica, where Gilbert and Hortense are from, and England, London, England, um, where they live for part of the book. So Queenie, uh, Queenie lives there, and Gilbert and Hortense uh, move there and are boarding with Queenie. And um, then Queenie's guy, whatever his name is, um, for part of the book, he is off doing World War II stuff over in India. So it, it jumps back a little bit in time and space. Uh, and that works brilliantly. The construction is brilliant. Her use of dialogue is brilliant. Like everything about this book is brilliant. The ending just really worked for me. I mean, it kind of snowballs and it's kind of like, um, the way things serendipitously happen, you know, might not really happen, but the way she chooses to deal with it and not deal with it and tie things up in a little bow, but not really, I just thought it was really well done. Um, the themes in the book of, you know, immigration and colonialism and um, racism and prejudice are just, oh, it's so good. But I just loved Gilbert and Hortense. I mean to tell you. Anyway, read the book. It is really so good. So good. And so I think I'm still reading 10 books at a time, even though I've finished a few. Like, I don't know why that is. I don't know how that keeps happening. I'm trying to get back into single digits, but anyway, thanks so much for watching and um, on to the next. Look at this bounty, fry rice, no soya. Hello. So, stores with all the books, all D books, I should say, not D books, D books, good stores, you know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it's Wacky Day at School it's for Spirit Week, so I'm wearing my St. Augustine neon t shirt. Seems a little bit wacky. It's the best I could do. It's the best I could do. And I thought in this vlog, I would show you all the books I'm reading. I've been trying to finish one in every vlog. Um, so that's been a little haphazard. So this one, let's, you know, take it up a notch and show you all of them. So uh, Two Trees Make a Forest by Jessica J. Lee. Um, this is set in Taiwan. It's not set. I mean, it's nonfiction. <laughs> so she is... Um, Canadian, but um, of Taiwanese heritage and is going back to visit. Um, very atmospheric. She's a great, great uh, nature writer setting the scene. It's also very historical. And I'm on page 98. I read a chapter last night at the beach. So nice. And I have about 150 pages to go. So that's book number one. Now I'm off to school. Catch you later. Good morning, world. So today is old fashioned day. I have nothing old fashioned. I have a limited wardrobe here. Um, but you know, Princess Leah, she works, right? And I made it to page 127 in Two Trees Make a Forest. So just 130 pages to go. Progress. Today I'm gonna focus on Andy Weir's Project Hail Mary in large print. Works for me, definitely. <laughs> um, science fiction, it's really good. I'm shocked. Um, 
And yeah, I'm reading this for the physics department. I have my toes in all the sciences here. I love it. So yeah, I'm writing the curriculum for their book club. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today in between teaching chemistry and working on the FRQ Friday, which is free response question program that I'm helping with the biology department. So yes, all the sciences gotta run. Maybe I should show you the mountains. Or that water tank, that's exciting. Oh, that's not the one yowling though. No. the breeze. Spending our afternoon getting caught up on schoolwork, but luckily it involves reading, so helping the physics department with their book club. And oh my goodness, I have an extra space that's got to go. And then um, I'm going to be reading Iggy Peck Architect with the kindergartners. Look at how cute that kitty is this week so last week we did um 
What did we do? The scientist. Oh gosh, add a twist. Add a twist, scientist. And this week we're doing Iggy Peck Architect. So cute. So I've outlined some project ideas. So yeah, the book stack is still there. The mountains are still there. The beach is still there. Maybe I'll get to the beach this evening. Yeah. Off to school now though. Here we go. So I tracked up to the top of campus. This is the soccer field and tennis courts. Can you imagine? And over here, those are the mountains. Let's see, you can get a good view. Pretty cool, eh? What I really want to do is go tromping up in this hill. Because you know I love the wild spaces, but I'll have to save that for another day because it's not very accessible. And the path down is lovely. It's all manicured. Hello, so heading home. It's about 5.30. I meant to go home early today, but that didn't happen because I got involved with Project Hill Mary. I'm trying to get caught up on something, anything. Like, I have so many pots in the fire that I'm just behind on everything chronically. So, tonight I'm just gonna get caught up on the physics reading book club. I think that'll make me feel good. So, Project Hail Mary by Anthony Weir. So exciting, oh my gosh. We're making contact with alien life forms. And, I've just found out that the whole ship is a centrifuge to create zero gravity for the lab equipment. I mean, it's all so cool. Anyway, I did some stats and you know, I'm not finishing any books either. I mean, I finished a couple. I mean, this mess, hot mess of a vlog, I'm about to finish it, but anyway. I did, I did some statistics and I've read 74 books this year. So I don't even know if I'm gonna hit triple digits. Like I've hit triple digits every year since being on booktube, but this year it's kind of sketchy. I mean, normally 26 books in two months wouldn't be tough for me. I could do that, but I've only been reading like two, four. I might hit six books this month. I can't remember. I'm at like five, but anyway. I don't know, guys. I don't know, but closing out from the daily vlogging, thanks so much for watching if you watched this mess, but welcome to my world. <laughs> Signing off. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.